having traipsed the red carpet as a model, a beauty queen and an award-winning actress, Halle Berry is no stranger to the limelight. But in 2004, she admitted she was rather nervous ahead of the premiere screening of Catwoman. A, a, little, a little alone, <laughs> a little frightened, um, but, you know, excited that, you know, as a woman, I'm getting an opportunity to sort of try this whole thing. And I hope that it goes well so that other women will have a chance, you know, to be, take part in sort of the summer extravaganza that are these movies. wasn't that she didn't put in the hard yards. Changed my diet. I learned um, capoeira, a Brazilian form of martial arts, which incorporates dance and gymnastics, and um, watched hours of tapes on cats, big cats, small cats, learned how to try to move my, my body like a cat as much as I could, because our bodies are different, but I tried to take, you know, some of the movements and incorporate them into a human body. All her hard work was rewarded with a box office flop and enough critical derision to earn her her first Razzie Award. She stepped up to accept the honor with laudable grace and humor. It was a far cry from her crowning moment in 2001, when her heart-rending performance as the widow of an executed murderer struggling to raise her morbidly obese son made her a shoo-in to win an Academy Award. Then, with two poorly received movies in a row and her divorce from Eric Benet, Halle hit a low point. Thankfully, the job offers kept rolling in. As well as starring in Perfect Stranger, she also teamed up with Benicio del Toro in Things We Lost in the Fire. And Halle takes it all in her stride. I mean, there's glamorous moments. You know, when we're at Cannes and, and the world's press is there, that'll be a glamorous moment. But that moment is fleeting. You know, and most of the 365 days of the year, you know, I'm just a, a woman trying to make her way, trying to understand this thing called life, and I suffer from sexism, racism, in my own way, in my everyday life, and, and I'm battling it as well, and I'm battling to get people to accept women and accept people of color as we are.